can someone who is a Catholic actually be a biblical Christian? The reason we want to answer that is because we've seen over the last few weeks in this series that there are so many differences between the Catholic Church and what the biblical church teaches, but can somebody actually be a follower of Jesus, a true follower of Jesus, and still go to the Catholic Church? Interesting question. Join us for the answer. Today I want to talk about this very difficult question, can someone who is Catholic actually be a Biblical Christian? Because over the past few weeks in our question and answer series, uh, we have been uh, seeing that what the Catholic Church believes, so much of it is not even Biblical, it's not even found in the Bible. But here's what's so amazing, and this is kind of what's awesome, is that there are many, many Catholics who don't even know what the church actually teaches or what the church actually believes. There are many Catholics that do read their Bible, that do believe in Jesus alone, but they've just always gone to the Catholic church and, and they like the church and that makes them feel comfortable and that's where they grew up in. So I asked Mike Winger about this very question and he gave a really, really great answer. But before I play that clip, I always have to say this, we are not doing this conference and these short little clips to bash anyone's religion. Our main goal is to get people to, to come back to what the Bible says. What does the Bible say? Not what a church says, not what a Pope says, not any of those things, but what does the Bible say? Because the Bible always has to be our final authority. So watch what Mike says. I, all of this just makes me sad because it's like, I don't know how people can get so far away from the gospel and yet they are. And there's a billion of these people out there and they, I don't know how to reach them. And I think that's what I was hoping for this segment is like, how can we reach you to make you say, go to the Bible. Now, what would you say to people? Like what, what, would, what would you ask of them to do after today? Well, let me say this. I think that a lot of Catholics are Christians. Um, and, and, and I mean, are saved. I, I think Catholicism is a Christian tradition in many ways, but it compromises the gospel. So I, I feel hesitancy calling it Christian because the gospel's right. essential. But I think a lot of Catholics are saved. And that if you ask them about their beliefs, I, I've talked to Catholics where they share. I had a conversation with a Catholic apologist for like an hour and a half, like I don't know, a month and a half, two months ago. And I was just like, can we just talk? I just, I want to have dialogue, friendly dialogue on these issues. And we talked for like an hour and a half. I asked him to explain to me how people are saved, finally saved before God. And I know the double speak and I know the different definitions of languages and things like that. So I'm listening and I go, what he just described to me is the biblical gospel. And I told him, I was like, you just described the same gospel I affirm. Right. I think that's beautiful. I am, you, I, I can't, under, I can't understate how relieved I am talking to this gentleman thinking he just described the biblical gospel. Right. <laughs> he affirmed the gospel of Christ. Like I'm excited about this. So then I share with him the council of Trent. And I said, help me understand how you view these quotes from Trent, which seem to conflict with the gospel you just proclaimed. And I read to him the quotes I shared with you earlier today. And at first he said, Hmm, wait, can you read that again? <laughs> and then I read it again. And he said, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that. Yeah. Now here's the good news a lot of Catholics aren't sure what to do with that. Exactly. Right? Like, just because it's, yeah, it's the official teaching of the church doesn't mean they know it. And even if they know it, doesn't mean that they actually believe it. Yeah. So they may be saved. And I'm very hopeful and very optimistic, but it's a fearful optimism because I realize they're being raised in a tradition that does contradict the very essence of the gospel of Christ. And so there's a good chance they're getting the, a false gospel or a, an inadequate understanding of the gospel. And many Catholics will say this, they left the Catholic church, they had to come to an evangelical church to hear the gospel for the first time. And many would say that that's their story. So I'm, I'm fearfully agnostic about the salvation of any individual Catholic. I just, I'm scared because I don't, it's not up to me and I don't know what they affirm. But um, what I would encourage a Catholic listening to this to do is, is calm your heart and know that there may be a difference between allegiance to Jesus and allegiance to the Pope between allegiance to God 
and allegiance to the councils and the traditions of the Catholic Church. You have, up until now, you've always seen Roman Catholicism as simply the true one church. But if their claims about the papacy aren't true, then it's actually a sectarian group that has added a lot of extra teachings. And you need to go back to the word of God and you need to find out what scripture says. Here's the bottom line. We can never forget what the gospel is. And it's Jesus alone. Not the church, not the Catholic church, not their sacraments, not purgatory, not Mary, not any of those doctrines that the, the Catholic church teaches, but Jesus alone. So if you're Catholic, you believe that alone, you've surrendered your life to Jesus, the, and you haven't surrendered your life to the Catholic Church, then I would say you most likely are a true follower of Christ. But if that's true, then you might want to really study this further. Because going to a church that doesn't adhere to historic biblical Christian doctrines, that actually might do your spiritual uh, life more damage than it does good. It might stunt your spiritual growth. So, Hopefully this helped you today. If you want to watch our two-hour series uh, on this, I'll put the links below for our Contending for the Faith conference. I'll also put a link to our Difficult Questions and Short Answer series. We'll be putting a lot of questions on there about different religions, along with a ton of other questions that we've answered. So I hope that helps you today. Have a good day.